Welcome to the Occupational Safety Leadership Podcast, Episode 13, Chemical Routes of Exposure. This is going to be a short and sweet episode where we just talk about how a chemical gets into the human body, gets on the human body. It can't magically leap out of a closed container, compressed gas cylinder. It has to, it has to get, uh, it has to have a way of getting on us or in us. So let's go ahead and talk about the four different ways that this can happen. You can breathe in the chemical. Breathing is also the most common route of exposure. There's also a lot of chemicals out there that have no warning properties at all. So you're breathing it and you have no clue you're even breathing it. It's also really hard to hold your breath for any kind of, um, for any length of time then. So that's the most common route of exposure by breathing it. Injection. Um, so this is, is where it actually gets under the skin. The skin does a pretty good job of being a, a natural form of uh, armor, um, but it, it, it's not the end all, the end all be all. And nobody's going to inject a chemical, but maybe it's from a, uh, uh, a needle. It might be from a razor blade. It just might a piece of broken glass. There, there's something somewhere that's caused that breach in that skin. So the chemicals gotten in there. The next one, let's talk about ingestion. So we're not eating this chemical on purpose, but if our hygiene is not good, uh, the chemical is, is on our fingers. It could be uh, a lubrication, it could be oil, we're working on an engine, you know, just, just we just don't have good hygiene. And somehow, I, it's, it's uh, let's just say it's on our fingers, our fingers are on that sandwich, and then we go ahead and uh, eat that sandwich then. So. And you can have um, absorption through the skin or the eye. It kind of goes for that nice, nice moist area. Uh, you can also have um, absorption. You know, just kind of think about your fingers, your arms. It's it just slowly getting down inside of you. Um, anybody who's also uh, been in the workplace for a while uh, knows that some people have spotty hygiene. Uh, anyway. So you can come around the corner and find them um, with their finger in their mouth, picking their nose, uh, rubbing their eyes. So there's, there's, there's all kinds of ways that a chemical can get inside of us that we don't always attribute to how it got inside of us then. So, so just to uh, sit down and sum it up, the four routes of chemical exposure, you can breathe it, it it's injection, ingestion, which is eating it, and then absorption mostly through the skin and eyes out there. And that's it for today's uh, nice, short, and sweet episode. So that's episode 13, Chemical Routes of Exposure. Thank you for joining me today. My name is Dr. David Ayers, and look for more from the Occupational Safety Leadership Podcast.